What's up, guys? Hope you all are doing well. Um, <clears throat> been a while. Been about a week since I uploaded uh, my last video. Sorry if I'm out of breath. I just moved a huge piece of furniture, and uh, <laughs> I'm just, I just sat back down. Had a little bit of a break from work, so I figured I'd get on and make a quick video. Um, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been about a week. My plan is to get to a point where I'm doing three videos a week for you guys, and uh, not just this stuff, not just the sit down, talk to the phone type of stuff. Uh, it's still going to be some of this, of course, but I really want to start, like especially as we move in to the winter and things get really slow. Uh, you guys up north are like, you know, going to get frozen in here soon. Uh, I want to start doing stuff with tackle and like really tinkering around with tackle, going down some weird rabbit holes with tackle. Uh, I think uh, you guys will enjoy that and it'll be a good way to kind of maybe kill the time while uh, uh, winter passes through and, and we wait for pre-spawn to come around. Um, anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is a little different. This video is... Honestly, not this type of video is not something I'm going to be doing very often, or I hope not to do very often on this channel. This channel will not be about complaining or griping or anything like that. Now, occasionally, uh, I do want to talk about industry news and especially, you know, things that are maybe controversial within uh, the fishing industry or within fishing culture. Uh, I'd love to to dive into those, but I want to do it in a way that takes a, an objective stance on it. And uh, I, I really want to get other people in and kind of have debates and Socratic discussions on some of that stuff. But this channel will not be about complaining and <sighs> you'll see what I'm talking about here. What I want to talk about is this thing that I've been seeing more and more of within the fishing YouTube space, and it is fishing YouTubers starting and having beef with, whether it's other fishing YouTubers, other people within the industry, things like that, but fishing YouTuber beef. And if you're laughing on the inside, I'm right there with you, man. It is, it is so petty and stupid, and like the fishing space, first off, it's, it's a big community. It really is. There's a lot of people that love the sport, but it's not that big. Like, it's not like the NFL, you know? It's not like like celebrity gossip, you know? It's, and I, I'm not saying I, I like celebrity gossip. I'm just saying this fishing space compared to other communities and other topics and other interests out there, other communities, is not that big. And some of these people who are manufacturing beef are not celebrities. And I feel like they think they are. And it's just so, so silly. Uh, and there's a lot of culprits out there. Uh, there's one in particular I want to talk about. But there's a, there's a lot of this going on. Uh, I think you've seen a lot of this uh, start to, to come about from... Uh, various factions within the Guggen Squad, you know, a lot of the younger audience, um, you know, Guggen Squad, uh, Lunkers TV and Luke Duncan um, recently butted heads over some BS. And, uh, yeah, speaking of Luke Duncan, Luke Duncan has definitely, uh, I, first off, let me, let me say this. I watch a ton of YouTube channels, ton of fishing YouTube channels. I really like all of them. I really, really, truly, truly do. Sorry, guys. My wife just got home. Uh, had to had to cut the video there. But, uh, anyways, I I watch I watch a lot of these these YouTubers. So I don't you know I don't pick favorites. I don't pick sides. I think a lot of these guys who start beef think that like they're gonna unite their community against this other community. It's like an army of of followers and. <sighs> That's maybe true for for some of of the of their followers, but I th I feel like a lot of us we don't care about that stuff. We just like to get good entertainment, good fishing tips, good experiences from their from their channels, and and we watch all of them. I watch Luke Duncan. I watch I watch some of the Guggen Squad stuff. I watch Tactical Bass, and I watch I watch all these channels. Okay. I don't take size. I'm not a part of any team. 
you know, any, like, Team Lunkers versus Team Luke, like, it's so stupid, it's so freaking stupid. Anyways, guys, the the, the one specific video I, I wanted to, to talk about was um, from a guy named Randy Blockett. And some of you might know who Randy Blockett is. Um, for those of you who don't, he, uh, basically, his background is he was a former, uh, like, Bassmaster, top-level tour pro. Um, he's still kind of like a triple-A type of guy, but his his heyday was really back in, like, the late 90s, early 2000s, and, and he had a lot of success. Um, and now he's, I think recently, just really this year, uh, started a YouTube channel. It's grown really fast. Uh, he puts out great content. Like, I love his content. He puts out really, really insightful, unique um, tips and, and tricks and stories and stuff like that. And, and I think he's doing a great job. Um, but you start to watch Randy more and more. And you realize, like, this guy definitely likes to gripe and complain about stuff like uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with complaining about things. We all do it, but it's very clear, like, this guy has a mentality of the world is against me, the world is out to get me, I'm a victim of these circumstances that I can't control, and, you know, I like to gripe and complain about it to my audience. Um, and it's just, it's not a good stance, first off. But, you know, it didn't really bother me all that much. I still really enjoyed his content until he put out a video, a specific video that was titled The Worst YouTube, Fishing YouTube Copycat? Question marks. It was something like that. The Worst Fishing YouTube Copycat? Question mark. And in this video, he talks about a specific YouTuber. He calls out a specific YouTuber who he thinks is copying other fishing YouTubers' content, who's copying his content, copying his friends in the space uh, content, and is went on to say that this person has no integrity, um, that you know this person is is uh, like a low life basically for doing this, like like really calling this person's character out, like big time, um, and you know, he talks about all this stuff, but not once, not one time does he talk about, does he mention who he's talking about? He does not name names in this video, but he calls someone out and he, he assaults their character. And, uh, so obviously being curious, I went to the comments to see maybe if the audience, you know, his audience had an idea of who it was and, and could maybe reveal it in the comments. And there was a lot of names thrown out there, but one name kept popping up. And it was Tyler Berger from Bass Fishing HQ. And I watch Bass Fishing HQ. I think Bass Fishing HQ puts out awesome content. So, like, this had me really confused. So I, I, I start to dig a little more, and I'm looking at, you know, Tyler Berger's content. I'm looking at his thumbnails. I'm trying to, like, maybe align and compare, like, when he released videos versus when Randy or some of Randy's buddies release videos. And I'm just not, I'm not drawing parallels. Um, I'm not seeing where Tyler Berger is copycatting anyone. And maybe Randy wasn't talking about Tyler Berger, whatever. But, you know, Tyler Berger consequentially has been affected by this, has been affected by your video, Randy. Um, this guy, first off, we need, to, we need to talk about something. We need to talk about the YouTube space in general. We need to talk about this YouTube game because it's clear to me that from releasing this, you know, this video that Randy did, he is very out of touch with how YouTube works. He's got a great successful channel. I think he's done a great job because he's, he's put out truly helpful content and he's put it out consistently, but it, it's, it doesn't seem like he really understands how YouTube works because you know, or else he wouldn't be putting out this, that video. The fact of the matter is YouTube is driven by, by trends, uh, and by, by content that is, is, uh, related to what people are watching. Tyler Berger, like, look, 
everyone in the YouTube space, everyone in the YouTube fishing, let's just take the fishing space for example. There are so many channels who are creating similar content. They're, they're making content on the same topics. They're, for example, this month, you know, I put out a video about November fishing. There's, there's 200 videos about November fishing that were released this month. There's 80 videos about the top five November baits. Um, there's, and there's going to be more, you know, like next year, the same thing will happen again. Um, that's not copycatting. Okay. Copycatting is like, okay, let's, I'm going to take your thumbnail, your exact thumbnail, and I'm going to say like word for word, like what you said, um, or maybe like just slightly off. Tyler Berger is not doing that. Uh, and if, if there's some, if there's someone who is, and that's who you were talking about, Randy, then, then I'll concede here, but you can't just say the things that you said and not say who it was exactly. Like that is just, that's bad for this community. And that's why I wanted to make this video. Um, you know, the fishing space is it, like, yes, there is, there's people making similar content in this space, but it's good. It's good for this space. Uh, I can go to, to Tyler Berger's channel and I can get a little bit different take on, say, lipless crankbaits than I can from, from Randy Blockett or than I can from Edwin Evers. And yes, all the content is about kind of the same topic and those topics can get very specific and people can still be making multiple videos on them. But you get a little bit different flair from each from each person. You get a different thumbnail. You get a different production level. You get different information itself. And I think that's good for the community. If you think, Randy Blockett, if you think that the fishing space is bad with copycatting, dude, it's nothing compared to other communities on YouTube. I've been getting really into um, like uh, trading crypto recently, and I follow a bunch of cryptocurrency YouTubers. Those guys make the fishing community look like, like patty cake. Like those guys are copying the absolute shit out of each other, man. Like they, that is, you, you see one bit of news come out within, within the cryptocurrency world. Maybe like a new piece of legislation comes out and that affects cryptocurrency. You've got 800 channels that are racing, like it's a rat race to get a video out first on it. And they're all copying the, the same style and like doing the same thing in the thumbnail, like, oh, you know, with arrows and graphs and stuff. And there is nothing like that going on in the fishing world, okay? So the fishing world is tame compared to that. And you've got to understand that that's how YouTube works. Like if you want to grow within YouTube, you have to understand and look at what's working. You have to look at your competition. You really do. And uh, if if something is is trending significantly, take take the Inu rig for example. Okay, the Inu rig or the Inu rig or whatever you however you call it was this new Japanese technique that came out. Uh, some of you might know what I'm talking about. Uh, and this Japanese video came out on it, and it got recommended to everyone. It got like a million views, and then like. Not but a couple days later, all of these other YouTubers are like sprinting to get a video out on it. Uh, like you, there's there's now probably hundreds of videos on the, on the Inu rig out now. And uh, it's because they saw the trend. They saw that that video was getting recommended like crazy by YouTube. And they wanted to basically ride that wave. And that is a very normal, very common YouTube strategy. It is not copycatting. Is it a little bit unoriginal? Yeah. Yeah, I'll concede it's a little bit unoriginal. It's a little bit maybe soulless, you know, like it, it lacks like um, that, you know, true like creativity and things like that. But it's not, It's it doesn't mean that that person who made that video lacks integrity. It doesn't mean that person has no character. And each person, I can guarantee you, each video for the Inu rig is a little bit different. It goes into maybe some different thoughts and opinions on it. And and that's good. That is healthy discourse within our community. To tie all this back, um, you know, first first off, Randy Blockett, again, if you see this video, 
I hope you know, man, I still love your channel, and I still think you, you're doing a great job on your channel. I'm going to keep watching your channel. But to tie all this back to the whole overall space, I think this is, this is exhibit A of, of a very bad trend that I've seen in the YouTube space with, with beef and, and manufacturing unnecessary beef. Uh, this community is different than other communities. Other communities thrive off of, off of argument and, and, and beef and animosity and they, it, they manufacture, they have to manufacture drama within other, other communities and topics, whether it's gaming or sports or things like that. But this community fishing has always been different. It's always been a very tight knit, very cool community that brings together people of all different walks of life, all different backgrounds, different age groups. It, it's, it's a galvanizing positive thing. And we, we need to keep it that way, especially the people who have a lot of influence. People like you, Randy. People like you, Luke Duncan, uh, who who can't seem to get a, a, away from these trolls and constantly talking about trolls. Like, come on, man, stop it. You know, like, don't feed the trolls. Um, Randy, stop letting stupid, petty, unnecessary BS rub you the wrong way. And even if it is, don't make a video on it, man. Like, you just made a video that caused your audience to jump to a conclusion about another channel. And now a good, probably a good chunk of your audience doesn't like that channel and thinks that he's an asshole and thinks that he has no integrity. And that's on you, man. That is on you, Randy. You did that. That is not cool. That creates unnecessary rifts in this community. Um, and I hope if you do see this, that you'll consider, you know, apologizing to, to Tyler um, apologizing to, to the community. Um, because I'm coming at you from, as a fan, you know, I'm not coming at you as your competition. I've, I've only got like 400 subs right here, uh, as, as of <laughs> today shooting this video. So I'm not doing this for an attention grab. I'm doing this because I love this community. I've been in it for a long time and I think this is a bad trend. Um, just the, the, and, and just the whole griping and complaining about stuff and complaining about how pros have too much money and there's nothing you can do about it. And the, yeah, I just, all the stuff that, that he complains about on his channel is just, it just gets old, man. Um, so again, full circle, we need to stop with this YouTuber beef. Um, it's, it's so silly you know, none of these guys in this space, not even the top of the top, are really that big of celebrities. Um, so, you know, no one is, there's, there shouldn't be any egos at play here. Like, no one, no one has really, even, even the top of the sport, like, I know, like, the, those guys have accomplished a lot, but it's not like we're talking about, not like we're talking about, you know, NFL stars or NBA stars or anything like that. Like we're talking about fishing. Like this is a closed tight knit community. Let's keep it that way. Let's keep it positive. Um, and, and let's, let's get rid of the YouTuber beef, man. That's all I got to say. Peace.